Hello, and welcome to Easy English Interviews, the podcast for English language learning. My name is Chris Kent. I'm an associate professor of English as a Second Language in Japan. And in this podcast, I interview interesting people in Easy English so English students can practice their listening comprehension skills. Please enjoy listening to the interviews, and if you would like to check your comprehension, please look at the questions in the podcast episode notes. Or go to kjkentmsed.substack.com and click on the post for this episode. There, you can subscribe to my Substack and receive email notifications whenever a new interview is released. インタビューを確認したい場合は、ポッドキャストノートの質問を見るか、URLKJKENTMSED.SUBSCRIBE Okay, and now for the Easy English Interview. Okay, so today we are going to be speaking with Takizawa Sensei. So thank you for coming today. Yeah, thank you for having me here. Okay, so I'm going to ask you some questions and、um, please just respond、um, as naturally as you can and just enjoy and have fun. Okay. Okay, so my first question for you is What part of Japan are you from?、Uh, I am from Kusatsu in the northwest part of Gunma, which is、uh, famous for hot springs, onsen.、Mm. As most of you probably know, Gunma is next to the Nagano prefecture.、Mm-hmm. Yes. I see, and do you like onsen? Yes, I do. Oh, yeah, I like hot springs, so I like to go to the onsen too. Yeah, you're going to Nagano? Or、um, you're going to yes, I used to live in Shizuoka. Okay. So I used to go to Izu Peninsula. Ah, yeah, Izu to... is also famous for onsen. Yeah, very nice, yeah.、Right. Okay, my next question is when you were a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? Yes, I wanted to be a pilot、mm. when I was in kindergarten. And I wanted to be a surgeon later when I was elementary school. And then when I was a Kosen student, I started to think about being a, a scientist.、Mm. Yes. I see. So,、um, what type of scientist did you want to become?、Um, like, I was researching on material. So, I wanted to be a material scientist, material engineer.、Mm-hmm. Yes. I see. Okay.、Um, and so, then why did you decide to become a teacher?、Uh, I wanted to use my experience and continue doing research.、Mm-hmm. Uh, also, since I used to be a c o s e n student,、uh, I was especially interested in becoming c o s e n teacher. I、yes. see. So, did you have、um, a teacher that you liked when you were a Kosen student? Yes, I still talk to him.、Oh, what's his name?、Uh, he, he is、uh, Dr. Ota.、Hmm. Yes, I was researching under, under his、uh, supervision.、Uh, uh, like、yes, supervision. Yes,、yeah, supervision. Yes.、Mm-hmm. I see. Well, that's nice that you still have a relationship、right. with him. Yes. Good, good. Okay.、Um, so now that you are a teacher at Kosen, could you tell me what are the good parts and the bad parts of your job? Yes. One of the good parts of my job is that I have a chance to teach chemistry based on my experience、mm-hmm. and do research.、Mm-hmm. Yes. And I, I'm happy when I feel we are learning together. When students are trying to understand my lecture and ask me some questions and finally understand, I'm really happy and it's rewarding.、Mm-hmm. Yes. And 
Um, I'm teaching first and second grade students, and I get some new insights from a younger generation, which is also pro.、Mm-hmm. Yes. The bad part of my job is that it's difficult for me to keep up my research activity、mm-hmm. due to the time restriction. I see. Yes, I mean, it's hard to do research and lab work in addition to teaching、mm-hmm. and also. Taking care of、uh, school affairs.、Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes.、Um, Komiyama sensei also said that that was a hard part of her job,、mm. uh, having to do so many different things、right. um, as part of her position. Yes.、Mm-hmm. I see. Okay.、Um, so, to be more personal, can I ask you、um, what is your hobby、mm. and why do you like to do that hobby? Yes, my hobbies are camping、mm. and jogging with music or podcast.、Mm-hmm. Um, for camping, it's because I feel nice and relaxing in nature. Being in the forest near a lake with、mm-hmm. a fire pit,、mm-hmm. with no、uh, computer,、mm. and uh, less, uh, I mean, the cell phone exposure、right. is,、uh, you know, that separates from my You know, normal work days.、Mm-hmm. So that's,、um, uh, it's, that's almost like,、um, uh, how can I say,、uh, meditation for me. Right. Yes.、Yeah. And jogging is also refreshing and、mm-hmm. uh, uh, relaxing.、Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So I like to go camping as well.、Mm-hmm. Um, it's relaxing, but also I think it's great for my children. Because、mm-hmm. um, they like to spend time outside. Right. Yeah. But yeah, the campfire is one of my favorite、yes. things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's something very special about looking at a campfire.、Mm-hmm. You don't have to do anything, just sit there and look at the fire. And I think it kind of takes us back to our you know, roots when we were. Right. <laughs> before we became modern people. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, so, have you ever traveled overseas? And if so, where have you been to? Yes, I have. I've been to Shanghai, China,、mm-hmm. uh, uh, the US, Canada,、uh, Melbourne, Australia, Denmark, France, Singapore, and Taiwan.、Mm-hmm. The US was for school, and China was for school trip. I see. Yeah, the rest of them were almost for work, such as conferences and、uh, escorting students、uh, on a school trip.、Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, I see. So, traveling for work is very different when you're traveling for that reason as、mm-hmm. compared to traveling for school、mm-hmm. or even a vacation.、Yes. Um, so, uh, did you enjoy going to school in America? Yes, yes, I did. Mm. Yes, I did. Oh, good, good.、Yes. Okay.、Um, and my next question is what is your favorite movie and why? Yes,、uh, I like the Back to the Future、oh, me trilogy. Too.、Mm, yeah, me too. <laughs>、yes. yeah. Because I like the story and the way they imagine the f- future in the second movie. Right. And try to make film using technology at that time.、Mm-hmm. It's interesting that some of things imagined in movies become reality. Yeah, yeah.、Yes. That's si- kind of、um, similar to like when I was young watching Star Trek.、Mm. And Star Trek, you know, the communicators that they used. When I was young, I thought, wow, I hope in the future I have a communicator. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have smartphones and cell phones. Right.、Uh, it's very interesting. Yes. Yeah. Okay.、Um, so, can you tell me something that you have done that you are very proud of?、Mm. Yes, I'm proud of making the decision to study in the US、mm-hmm. after k o s e n g My English level was not good enough at that time, but I still decided to prepare to enter the university graduate school.、Um, if I think about it now, like, I cannot believe that I could do that. Yeah, yeah, it must have been very scary. Right.、Yeah. Yes. I see. Yeah, that's proud. That's something that you can be proud of, for sure.、Yes. That, that reminds me of when I came to Japan.、Mm. Um, I couldn't speak any Japanese. Really?、Uh, yeah, but I tried to learn when I got here, and、uh, now I'm very proud that I did that.、Oh, okay.、Yeah. So you didn't study in Canada? No. 
No. Oh. No. Oh, okay. Um, how about on the other side? What is something that you wish you hadn't done? Okay. Um, I wish I hadn't done volleyball. Volleyball? So seriously, 20 years ago. Mm. Because, because of that, from a week ago, I have no front tooth. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. uh, first half of my tooth got cracked and came off by hitting the umpire paw. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> right. Mm. Um, it was repaired back to normal until last week. Oh. Yes. When finally the rest of the tooth was uh, wasted by biting into a rock hard bagel. <laughs> <laughs> a bagel? <laughs> yes. Ooh. Oh, that's yeah. too bad. Yeah. Um, actually, that's interesting. The same thing happened to me playing hockey oh, really? when I was young. I ice was, hockey? Yeah, but not ice hockey. It was kind of like outdoors just for fun. Mm. Um, and a stick hit my mouth and I lost four teeth. <laughs> yeah. That's terrible. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I wish I hadn't done that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, so can you tell me what are your goals for the future? Okay, in the future, I want to contribute to society through my research. Mm. For example, now I am working on an oil adsorption material to effectively uh, collect the crude oil, spill the the ship Mm -hmm. or ferry accidents on the ocean. Oh, that's it's, great. Yeah, I've been researching on the reverse osmosis membranes to produce drinkable water from seawater as mm. well. Wow, that's very important. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, I hope that you are successful. Yes, I hope so too. <laughs> yes. Okay, my final kind of question that I ask all my guests is if you had any advice for someone who's learning English or someone listening to this podcast, mm. what would your advice be? Right. Um, it's important to study English to be able to communicate with people in English. Mm-hmm. First, you need to remember language is a tool for communication, right. not just for uh, passing exams and entering school. Mm-hmm. So, um, in English education in Japan generally tends to focus on just grammar and reading. Right. Um, in test results, Japanese students are good at those skills, mm. but I think it's not enough and um, good balance for communication. Right. Yes, I agree. Yes. Uh, from the from that viewpoint, if you want to learn English, first. I recommend for everyone to focus on listening comprehension. Mm-hmm. In my experience, once you start to really understand what people say in English, you'll be able to communicate with many people and get much more information. Mm-hmm. Um, once you build up your confidence, you will start to like learning English more. Mm-hmm. So I believe that uh, I believe that is the most important process. Second, I recommend uh, that people really use English by talking, talking and share with your opinions mm-hmm. with foreign uh, friends and teachers mm-hmm. uh, as much as possible. Right. Um, that will not only help improve your English skills, but also can help change your views on life. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm, I think those are very good pieces of advice, so thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'd like to say thank you for coming today and for taking part and being a very good guest. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you so much. Well, I hope you enjoyed the interview with Yoshihiro Takizawa-sensei. And I would like to say thank you very much for listening. Also, I hope that you will try the comprehension questions when you have free time, so you can check your listening ability in English. And please, if you would like to be notified by email whenever a new podcast is up, please become a subscriber at kjkentmsed dot substack dot com. That's kjkentmsed.substack.com. If you become a paid subscriber there, 
You can read transcripts of the interviews and check your comprehension answers. All right, thank you again, and see you next time when we will speak with another interesting person. Bye-bye from Easy English Interviews.